I'm very excited to be part of this AMWC webinar. My name is Dr. Samia Sofra. I have a doctorate in neurophysiology from City University London and a doctorate in clinical psychology from the New School of Social Research in New York City. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Empower the Woman. Uh, recently, I published about 11 articles and most of them are related to this subject matter. So I include it in the presentation. Number one problem is hormonal imbalance. And it's not about replenishing one hormone, it's how these hormones interact and the position of these hormones in the normal range. 3 to 3 can be close to the bottom of the normal range can be can evolve into the onset of the hypothyroid disorder. So a preventive perspective focuses on the rate of differentiation. That means how the hormones interact and how they change. The small changes, the minor imbalances within normalcy before they are exacerbated into a medical disorder. Very important part is that the metabolism slows down with age. So you have what we call the decreased basal metabolic rate, BMR. What we found, and this is the paper that I published on how to get uh, rid of visceral fat. What we found is that we used a new alternative to exercise, a new method. And we found that after 12 treatments, BMR was significantly increased. And it was actually increased on all subjects, it was 97.44%. And they also uh, lost uh, kilograms, about 6.32% of kilograms were lost. Now, the other problem is the visceral fat. Unfortunately, visceral fat cannot be removed by lasers or RF because it wraps itself up around the vital organs and invades them. And that's how we have what we call the fatty liver. There are some studies that claim that they have removed visceral fat. However, there are methodological problems with these studies. Number one, by Duarte et al., they did a couple of studies. In the first one, they claimed that there was visceral fat decrease, but they also combined laser and exercise, so we don't know which one produced that decrease. In the second round, they did not find any decrease. And then you had the study that was not a peer review study for in the uh, bulletin of Chiron uh, University, but they talk about reducing visceral fat, but when they're looking at the results, they just talk about basically overall fat. With this technology that we use, the recent technology is not a laser, it's not a RF. It was developed in London University. We did 12 treatments and we found a significant decrease of visceral fat, a 30.34% decrease, and an increase in 3 to 3 by 30%. Again, that's a published study. It was a published